and what is going on YouTube? Just another game channel bringing you just another video. So guys, uh, we're doing the Dark Monastery um, challenge. I've just already loaded in. Uh, let's get okay, boss. Let's get rid of that. We should get put a hand cannon in because I think I need to do a hand cannon for multi for my uh, powerful frame. And uh, let's get going. So the dump. I actually need to buy some more drinky drink drinks. Where do we go from here? Okay, there we go. Alright. I'm using Void just because I don't have enough resources to upgrade any other boots. Uh, and I suppose I could use this, the fire one. It's a bit like that, isn't it, guys? Turn that down a bit. Uh, I'm using hand cannons because I need hand cannon multi kills. Into it. This has become a nice hand cannon. Uh, so I just got the I just got the catalyst for the oh what did I get it for? So I got one for the Jade Rabbit the other day. I got one for the Prospectus the other day, and I got one for the Rat King today. Now the Rat King I don't use because well no one else, no one else uses it you know unless it's I guess um, Unless it's like a video that where people are doing like the you know the usual team challenges and stuff. It's amazing when when people use that. I think it's brutal. Like, it really is. Do I have to do this ascended? I don't know. No, no it's not strike. I do have to do uh, an as ascended. Challenge. I do have to do the line well ascended if I want to get like trans 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 ascendant blessings. I would have got 15. Uh, I suppose I'll get get it done because just don't like having them marked up like that. Um, but which tree am I using? Let's find out. New one. I like this one. Good tree. I'd rather run the I'd rather run the blades, I think, but I can't. My I ain't got the materials to upgrade my Gwinson Vesty Jesty Westy. So yeah, you know, so good, so good. So guys, I I am looking for people to start playing with. Okay, my my insomnia has gone gone from uh, three hours a month sleep to about two hours a week. So two hours a week is not a lot, obviously, but that is a massive. Because I'm actually now getting like, like yesterday, no, uh, was it yesterday? No, day before yesterday, I managed to get just under two hours sleep. Now, I, I was awake, so I got two hours sleep in the midday, and then I've been awake since then, and not slept since then. But that was, that was only, that was two hours, man, instead of like ten minutes, you know. I normally get five, five minutes, ten minutes uninterrupted, and then I'm awake, and I can't fall back asleep. So, and again, it's that whole, am I actually asleep? I know I'm not in REM sleep. Uh, I don't enter REM sleep very often because I'm always aware of people around me. I am essentially functionally awake all the time. And what that means is things like somebody could contact me at any time of the day or night, 24 hours every day, and there's not a, there isn't a time when you won't be able to find me awake. Do you know what I mean? That's because I might I might I might get five minutes here and there and that's how my sleep that's how I'm being kept alive actually. When you do when you do like nine nine and eleven day nine days a week first one, eleven second one and thirteen you know, consecutively, yeah, you know, that's when the hospital called but that you know, I thought eight, nine days were brutal when that first hit me. Um, but there's been a slight improvement. Um, I am getting you know, as much as two hours uh, per week now, and um, that's amazing. And and I remember talking about someone I didn't know him on here, but I was mentioning it to him, uh, and he just said, "Oh, I'm out here. You're talking bullshit. There's no way the human body could function on that." First of all, he's right, but my insomnia I've had since I was uh, I've had severe insomnia since I was about 17, and it's over the last. 20 odd years it's gradually got worse um you know it was like okay you're awake for 48 hours 
then that lasts a couple of years, then you're like, shit, okay, you're doing 72 hours, then you're doing 96, and before you know it, you're well over the 120 mark, 150 mark, and then before you know it again, you're pushing 200 plus, you're pushing like, you're beyond 200 hours without any sleep. And, and see, te see, problem is, like, I'm, I'm, re I'm really honest, and so if I fall asleep for three minutes, I'll mention that, and I'm saying, well, obviously I didn't sleep there. But I, I suppose I could technically quite reasonably not count that because but those little little essence of falling asleep, they're the things that are actually keeping me alive. Um, but yesterday I got an uninterrupted, well, I say two hours, it was about probably an hour and twenty uh, and, then, and then I got interrupted by just, you know, coming awake and then, I, but I stayed in, I stayed in bed and just kind of I was hoping to, to fall back asleep. Uh, I don't know how long it took me, but I did. Uh, see, the main problem with it is when I fall asleep, I suffer from not. See, it's, it takes. I mean, I, I like sleeping tablets. The maximum safe dose, two every night. I've got I've got I've got access to a whole other prescription where I can take four a night. I've taken twenty. And not gone to sleep. I've also taken a full pack and not gone to sleep. So packs 32. I think there's 32 in a full pack, maybe 30. Um, but suffice it to say, one of these tablets will put any of you guys that are listening on the floor like it, like it feel like an elephant trunk to you guys. Like half an hour later after it kicked in. I mean, I've had four right now because I was hoping to get some sleep. I'm under the influence of them now. Do I sound like I'm sleepy? I've had four, 7.5 milligrams. Of Zimmervein, Zopiclone. Sorry, no wait. Is this the Zim? This is the Zimmervein brand. I like the Zimmervein brand. They seem to be less harsh on the side effects. Uh, don't get me wrong. The side effects can be not nice. I have all the major side effects, including um, personality change, uh, memory loss, and uh, oh, what was this one? Oh, something else. But it's suffice it to say, um, yes, I uh, I got unfortunate. So, but there's nothing else. I've tried everything else. So, uh, I actually called my doctor the other day. I needed, I needed him to write me a letter for something. And, uh, we, you know, we're like, because we both agreed a while back, look, nothing works. No, nothing has ever worked on me. In, 20, in 30 years, nothing's ever worked. So, we both agreed to stop trying, stop going to doctors, because other people legitimately need the, you know, I, I suppose I legitimately need it. But, there's nothing works, um, and I knew it weren't. Since I was seven years old, I started to feel this way. Um, it's a long story. It's basically, I was seven years old. I woke up one day. I went from uh, just a normal kid to a highly intelligent, grumpy old man. That's what my mum always says. Now, what's interesting is I always knew I was drastically different from most human beings um, when I was at primary school. You know, I'd, I'd look at the language that that the these uh, teachers would use, and and then the way they treat students, and you know, at seven years old, I was a, a, a I was looking at the language, I was looking at the psyche of these teachers, and uh, the human condition. I was looking at the school system, and um, and because I was seven years old at the time, I thought to myself, well, I'm seven years old, but I've got legitimate claims about how I've been treated. Um, and the types of things we've been taught. But if I bring it up, it's just you, know, you, you have no authority. You're, you're, you're a child. I tried it in secondary school, man. Most of secondary school are bullshit. Try and bring it up, legitimately challenge it. Um, yeah. Oh, you've been cheeky. It's a detention. No, I'm trying to improve schooling. Actually, I hated school because of my because of certain teachers hated it. That caused me a lot of problems. Like I did okay at school. Like I did, you know, I passed a good, good amount of, you know, I passed like 10 GCSEs or something, good grades, that allowed me to get into any college I want to. Um, but the more, the, the older, like, as I, as I went, got older and older, like, because at first I did computer programming, then I did A level sociology and psychology, then I did A level graphic design and B tech design, then I went to uh, Derby University and did a BA honours in graphic design. A, a year later, I went to Nottingham Trent and did a master's in graphic design. Um, 
while all that was happening, I was teaching at various universities. Um, I taught BTEC typography. I took, ad sorry, I took advanced extended. No, I took advanced. Um, it was it was a, it was a weird. It was A level, so it's A level typography, but it it was a slightly different course. It had a well, it was an advanced level course in typography, and a BA honors in visual communication. Um, on top of that, I've taught um, BA honors graphic design and uh, masters level graphic design. I've taught both those groups. Um, I've been mentors to multiple people. I've written scholarly articles and, and pieces of work uh, around multiple fields. Um, but it wasn't until it wasn't until see see I suffer from really bad depression, guys. Uh, and and it sounds you know it sounds a bit wishy washy. I know, but if you can imagine not knowing, not never feeling happy. Imagine never feeling happy. Imagine every day it feels like the worst things that could happen to you. So if you've got a kid, imagine if that kid got murdered or kidnapped, or imagine if you get your heart broke by your partner, or, or I don't know, your partner has an accident at work and dies from it. Just just that type of pain and suffering. But I, I, but it's based on on humanity and thing, you know, just, just you poor bastards. <laughs> like, we've got so much potential, but we're going down the long route. We're going down the wrong way. And um, and I knew I was different from from very early from seven years old. I knew I was different, uh, but the problem I had is I didn't know how I was different. Um, and so what I ended up doing at the age of nineteen, I took an IQ test, and um, yeah, the the the, uh, the 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 reply was well the the um, results were um, well to to to. Uh, 209 uh, my Q apparently I'm 209 I didn't believe it I'm like no way I know I, I felt like I was different I knew I was different I felt like I was you know I'm a, I'm a decently you know I've always known I've been a, I'm, I'm an intelligent guy it's just I think I was so bored with school that um, it didn't it was too easy you know um, but uh, so so I took a second test and uh, then I took a third test because I'm like, now nah, that can't be right. So it basically confirmed it. There's slight variations. I got like a the highest grade mark I got was like a two. Was it two thirteen? Two four two thirteen. Then um, a two o four and I think a two o seven or two o nine or something. It was it was years ago, but yeah. But I didn't. So I take the lowest. Uh, you know, out of those, I'm like, look, let's let's try and be humble about this. <laughs> Let's take the 204 one instead of the two instead of 213 or 211 or whatever it is. Um, Sorry. But yeah, it was uh, it was insane. Um, and 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 I, and I think that's part of of never been able to sleep is because. I said from the beginning, when I knew about, I said this is not a chemical imbalance in my mind. This is something else, and I've been right because I've tried every type of medication, all the old school antidepressants, all the new styles. I've tried sedatives, I've tried sleeping tablets, I've tried hypnotherapy, I've tried changing my diet, I've cut out caffeine for years at a time. I've, I've, the amount of things I've done. Um, uh, you, you know, I've exercised, I've, you know, just all sorts, and nothing's ever, ever, ever worked, and that just sucks balls, man. I think for me, it's just the fact that we're pretty advanced, but I think we could be more advanced, far more advanced, and while innovation is, and, and creating new technologies is outpacing our maturity as a species i think a couple of things could happen we're probably going we're most likely we're going to devastate ourselves i mean we're already in an extinction level event we just don't feel it and this is the first man-made one you know uh global warming and that um but i i uh oh shit i saw this awesome train of thought 
Yeah, I mean, I think I'm, I think my my depression co comes from things like you know living in a galaxy that's a hundred thousand light years in diameter. Only five, about five to ten percent of those uh, planets are Earth-like. Only five percent or ten percent, whatever, whatever. It's between five and ten percent, but that averages out at sixty billion, sixty six zero billion Earth-like planets. Okay, now. Earth-like planets, life as we know it. These are terms because we start, you know, scientists are starting to absolutely be convinced that you know, Earth-like planets is just just supports our type of life. And when I say our type of life, I mean the current eight, eight or so million species on the planet right now. Um, and don't forget six mass extinctions that wiped out ninety-nine point nine 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 eight percent of the world's population. This has happened six times. Okay, so you know if that had not, if none of those has happened, the earliest um, life forms would now, if they 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 would evolve enough, and uh, the technology they would have from evolving for over 330 million years. That's pretty, imp you know, you can only imagine, can't you? You can only imagine. And this might have happened on other planets, and so this is what drives me nuts. Um, this is these are the things that depress me. And then I'm start, I've spent a lot of time looking at the U.S. and now I'm starting to look at the U.K. and things like blasphemy laws, just just for just for um, uh, the Muslim faith. Um, and you can't, no one can have a serious conversation about it. So if you even bring it up, you're labelled. Uh, uh, Trans, you lab trans, you labeled racist, transphobic, uh, misogynist, um, racist. Hit, you called Hitler. I mean, Jesus Christ! I've dated Asian women. I've dated black women. I've dated. Oh, you know, because of my education as a student, uh, postgraduates, most most people aren't from the UK, so there are options there, and um, yeah, it just. I don't know, like, it, like England's forms of pieces, people getting arrested and put in prison for jokes. Think about that, for jokes, yeah? Ricky Gervais says more offensive things, but he's not in prison. Um, I, like, there was, a, there was a little clip I saw on YouTube. This woman went up to an officer and there were there were some Muslim uh, people praying. No, I don't have a problem with them praying. I personally didn't have a problem with them praying where they were praying, but... It's not allowed. It's against the law and it's against the park's policy because it's, it's a royal, it's a royal guard. It was part. Of the, it's, it's a royal park basically. It's a Majesty's park, and she brought up the code and this. And none of cops would. Uh, they basically won't do it about it. And they said that we've been told to. First of all, they said all laws are discretionary, and I were like thinking, well, if I go murder somebody, then and you're like, nah, sorry, mate, you, you don't have to. No prison time because all laws are discretionary. I'm like what? You know what I mean? It sounds nuts, doesn't it? When no laws are not discretionary, Ju the judges can be discretionary on your punishment, depending on the circumstances of the crime and why you did it, what you did it, do you feel remorse, and so on and so forth. Um, the following evening, that evening, that woman, and she video recorded it all just just to be safe. That woman got arrested that night for obstructing justice or something she didn't do anything nothing wrong she did nothing wrong she didn't obstruct justice she was trying to enforce justice and the laws but it's insane guys come on is it insane i don't know i don't like to rant on about shit like this i don't but i am seriously thinking about starting a... okay this is all right guys for those that watch to the end because i'm gonna uh, get 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 this uh, out here in a minute just because i just wanted to do that mission and try and Try and do shorter videos because I know a lot of guys and, and and females. When I say guys, for those that are female, I mean that as in a generic term for person, not particularly for a male person. So just so you know that. But um, I I uh, I'm seriously thinking about starting a a political commentating channel um, because I can't be demonetized uh, be, uh, because I'm not. I don't get any avenue, and I'd very much like to start been a commentator on these things because they're terrifying they're absolutely terrifying you know I've got I've got friends who are Muslim who seem very decent and actually man I, 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 I rip it I rip I rip the Quran apart on one of my mates all the time 
like arguing about it. It's not arguing, it's more of like real, real debates. And, um. I, uh. You know, and, and, and I've dated Muslim women, and um, most of them seem decent out in the open. But then you watch things like the Dispatches documentaries and investigative reporting where they have hidden cameras in our prime, in our secondary schools and primary schools where they have religious classes taught in, in the faith of Islam. And they're telling, they're telling people to, you know, don't integrate, don't make friends, we're, we're going to be a separate community and follow our laws and, and, and it's just preaching hatred of, of the people in the country that, that gave them a second chance. I mean, it's it's just insane. And just saying that, you'll be branded all sorts of horrible names. It's because ideologies, they, uh, they, they tend to just take over people's... It's just weird. But anyway, guys, I didn't mean to. Da damn it! You know, I'm so sorry, guys. This was all political. It doesn't. It didn't mean to be. It's just. It's so much on the on the fore end of my thoughts at the moment, just because of the crap that's going off around the world and even in the UK now. So I apologise. But uh, did we do that mission, guys? Did we do that mission? We did, didn't we? That was pretty easy. I was just talking along. Now, there's the Ascender Challenge and the uh, Well. Now, I'm going to cut this off and do this here as, as the mission. Um, and I'm going to uh, put that up separately and then we'll record the Well. Because I don't record much of the Wells, so yeah. Anyway, guys, um, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Um, and I'll, uh, I've got an assessment soon. I really should have a medical, but... Because, like, I, I am dying. I should have died already, but I am... There's a very good chance... See, I, with, I, I could I could prove it by saying some things that's happened to me or, you know, whatever, that, that would suggest... Most people would think, how are you alive after that? So, and if it's not killed you outright, it'll be destroying your internal organs. Suffice it to say... Um, Every day I wake up and expect it to be my last, and um, it doesn't seem to be happening. It's very weird. I don't know how I've built up such a resilience to certain medical issues. But anyway, um, I don't know why I brought that up. There was a that was an initial point to lead something else. I don't know. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Hope your week's going all right, and I'll see you all on the next one. So cheers.